going on in the world like Wednesday. Uh, Don't give us a lecture about slavery. Approved. <laughs> that she's basically saying you, you're not really uh, entitled to an opinion history. unless. I feel like they didn't talk to any African Americans because we could have told them <laughs> about the history, and nor have any anyone uh, seen. And their opinions are always time. valid. To find out anything. I would say we can listen to their opinions and their history. Former slaves who have given their testimony. You can go to the Smithsonian and hear them. So apparently they all think it's a lie. Uh, but the board uh, defended the standards. I'm sorry for laughing because it's so shocking. Vice President The Kamala problem is there's a whole gauntlet of slavery off. from... Let's take a look. They want to replace... But, okay, lines. so this person has an opinion... But her ancestry does not include American slavery. But so she's entitled to an opinion. So that means slavery. other people are also entitled to opinions who weren't slaves. That, victims that you can't have this person entitled to an opinion who whose ancestors were never slaves in America, I said it but slave owners probably in Jamaica. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us. And we will not have it. But she's what entitled to an opinion. Well, yes. Because so. I wanted to listen to what other people had to say. Because, you know, when you talk about enslaved people and, and enslaved the, people, the, just the horrible um, yeah. things that happened to slavery. I'm sure there well, was horrible often, things throughout history. You know, from some people who were treated horribly to other people, they were literally part of the family and treated as part of the family. I mean, so there's a whole gauntlet of how people were treated. So there's a big, wide range for discussion. And it's not, and we got to remember, slavery is a condition that existed for thousands upon thousands of years throughout history, for almost all groups of people, that everybody, even Native Americans, had slaves before Christopher Columbus ever showed up. So slavery is a condition that existed. It was the norm. It was the standard for thousands upon thousands of years. A horrible history, but it is what it is. We can't go back and change it. We can only change how we move forward. And America was built on the backs of slaves. I'm sh yeah, it's probably somewhat. But then the Civil War happened, which literally left the South in ruins. That large parts of the South was devastated. So they almost had to build for back from scratch. So continued... The America was built on the backs of slaves? No, probably not after the Civil War. Everything was devastated. Most likely, America was built on the backs of the impoverished, the poor, which would include the former slaves. But literally, America did not invent slavery. It didn't start here. It just got brought here after... <laughs> The Spanish colonized three-fourths of the Americas with Portugal, colonized large parts of Africa that they themselves spent 700 years occupied by mu the Muslim Caliphate, which slavery was an inherent part of their customs and cultures, which transitioned it to Spain, which brought it to the, the Americas the, for the transatlantic slave trade even though slavery existed in the United States beforehand. But these people want to blame, blame white people for the history of slavery. Uh, okay, let's go back. You want to blame us for the history? Then you got to give us credit for the history, that it was Western Europeans that made a strong stance and go, no, slavery is immoral, it's wrong. We got to end it, and we did throughout the Western world. And the slavery that exists today, for the most part, is outside the Western world. And it's but it's illegal internationally. But you cannot condemn white people for slavery when every group has participated in it. That whites themselves were slaves 
took into the Barbary Coast in the millions. But if you want to get, blame us, you got to give us credit. And so how about a little gratitude? If we owe you reparations, how about the reparations for our blood, sweat, and tears that went in to ending the age-old practice of slavery? you got to be fair about it. If we're guilty, then we're also owed a debt of gratitude. So, you, so let's have it both ways. You want to practice Juneteenth? Awesome. We can celebrate that as our second day of independence in America where we actually started working towards the recognition of equality between all races. You know, it took us 100 years, but we got there. We're getting there. We're improving every day on the standard. We, that we were at a point where I don't see color. Then you guys told us, oh, that's racist, that we treat people equally. That's racist. So come on. Get it together. Figure out exactly what you want. And quit blaming. All right. I'm getting over six minutes. So I'm going to cut this off here. But you get the point. If, if we're going to be condemned, then we must also be given the gratitude that we ended slavery in the Western world. All right. Good morning. Good night. Depending on what time of day it is and where you're at in the world.